The referee awards the gestures of free kick just outside the box. Looks as though no card has been awarded. And that's a goal for Jester's number nine, Tony Judas. Out for a Jester's throw in, they'll take it quickly. The header goes nowhere and is cleared out by the Hammers defense. Cross in from the gestures is easily saved by Brad Lewis. It's by gestures intercepted by Francisco De Onda. from Brad Lewis. And that's a yellow card given to number 18, Gail Mabiala. Chester's cross cleared by number four, Jack Ball. And the shot from the Jesters is wide left of the goal. 
The ref has given the Jesters a corner kick. And the resulting attempt from the Jesters is very far wide of the goal. The ref has awarded a throw-in to the Jesters. The attempt from the Jesters is wide left of the goal. And the long kick from Lewis is collected by the Jesters keeper. And after a couple of deflections, that is a second goal for the Jesters. And that's the full 45 minutes of the first half. Should be approximately three minutes of added time. Free kick is awarded to the Hammers to be taken by Francisco de Onda. No card given to the offending Jester's player. <laughs> and 
And a corner kick is awarded to the Hammers. And that's out for a hammer's throw in, taken quickly. by the hammers. from the gestures is about four feet over the goal. And the Hammers header is out of bounds for a gestures goal kick. Right, my 
And that's a goal for the Jesters. And a substitution for New Orleans as Chase Rushing comes on the field to, for the injured player. And that's a handball called on the Jesters and a free kick awarded to the Hammers at the top of the box. And an excellent Hammers free kick is pushed over the bar by Jester's keeper, Chad Collins. Resulting in a Hammers corner to be taken by number 25, Mikey Connell. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
And play is cleared by the Hammers defenders. And in the 84th minute, that's a goal for the Jesters. And that's another goal for the Jesters.